Right, so it's uh, it's been a little while since I've made a video. I'm just giving you a quick update. There's not really any work going on right now. Um, however, I am almost ready to do some work on this car. Now, um, some things have happened over winter. This has stiffened up, so I'm probably going to need to take this off to uh, see to the brakes in there, which has seized up a little bit. But uh, it's not a not a big deal. So um, the good news is, is that as I speak, Paul Compton is on his way up with the motor that he's been working on. And if you have a look at my playlist, you will see some videos linked to him uh, from when he did the work on the motor itself. So that's all been done. It's all been fixed to the axle. I've just got to do some painting on the axle and bolt it up to this car. And then it's just doing a bit of electrical work, getting it all running on the new inverter. Uh, now that it's springtime, despite the slight coldness in the next couple of days, the sun's still so nice and warm out right now. Um, I'm going to start working on this again after I've got some other things done. I've got, got some potatoes to plant, um, solar panels to get in. So uh, yeah, it's all back to doing projects now that I've crawling out of winter hibernation. <laughs> parts that this car needs seeing to is the seal around here but this part because this window may need to come off to be repaired properly I may do this job with going green however when you look in there you should see some rust that part I could probably do myself but uh, I think I'd rather get this to going green to do a proper job of it so that's not a huge issue that's not going to get destroyed anytime soon so uh, I can wait on that. I'm um, just going to get it running, finally get it back on the road and see how this new motor performs. So here's the motor just arrived. <laughs> oh, thanks Paul. Um, and the modified A-frame. Yes. So there's all the fittings. So that's all the modified for the motor to fix onto the top of that. So that's just going to come off the other car and we're just going to bolt that straight back on um, to make it easier so I don't have to take all the suspension apart or any other brakes. Actually not too heavy is it? <laughs> it has pretend paint on it. <laughs> yeah I've just got to clean that up and give it a paint before it goes back on. Right. So here's, here's the update, um, since I've had the motor back I've just got it out on the table and uh, what we're doing here is just bench testing it, making sure everything's functioning and get it running before it even goes in the car. So I've got it up to a 12 volt battery down here um, and I've got the negative, I've got the positive connected up here and I've got the negative connected to the ground which both run into here. Now the diagrams that I got with this weren't clear so I had to do a bit of experimenting and at first I was putting this, I was connecting this wire here into here as well because there was a little click in this box so I thought that was the switch but it turns out that when that's connected to positive the switch is off so you can't get any power through the, uh, through the motor. So now that I've done this I've got it on to forward here and this is a throttle switch here, so this is everything connected as it came out of the car. And if I turn this gently, I have to be gentle because it can be quite fast. Now I don't know if that's a bearing or something, but there's a little bit of a noise. But I have to be careful when I slow down because it's got regen and it kicks in. But there we go. 
if I kicked it in at high speed, it will just throw the motor straight off the table. So we've got all of this connected and uh, everything seems to work. If I, that's, that's the uh, regen disable. So if I click that, that turns regen off. This is the power saver. So I assume if I turn that up, it will put more power through the motor. And if I just turn this around, it's back into forward drive. And there we go. And because I haven't got regen on, it will just run. But now I'm a little worried the bearings have gone in there because I can hear a bit of a noise, but... We'll see. Maybe talk to Paul about that, see, see what he thinks of that noise. But, um, no, that's the system. All I've got to do now is paint this, paint this uh, frame up, uh, get that ready to go in, and then drop that under the car, bolt that up, and fix this motor in place, and then wire everything back up inside the car, and see if we can get it running before I do all the nitty-gritty work and get all the wiring put through to the dash. There we go. Small introduction uh, to this new, to the project now that I'm able to continue it because I've got all the parts to do so now. So um, I'll upload the video like this uh, and then what I will do is get the frame painted and start videoing more once I'm able to get the car ready to, to get the motor in the axle and yeah, then we'll see we'll see where it goes from there. So sorry about the delay in video posting for this. Uh, I was a bit stalled over winter and it was too cold to work on anything and I couldn't get the uh couldn't get the motor until now so with the whole lockdown. So so we're ready to we're ready to continue. So watch this space and I'll have more videos for you in the upcoming future.